Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Yeah, KG Auto, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, morning viewers, I'm here over in uh, Long Island. I came down here to check this vehicle out. This is 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser. Customer complaint, the car doesn't engage in a drive. So the uh, transmission, I don't know what is going on, but I'm gonna bring you guys along what is going on. Please, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It takes one to know one, it takes two to tango. We cannot be fruitful by ourselves. We all need each other to survive. You better believe that. There is nothing like I'm a self-made millionaire someone help you to get there you cannot enrich yourself unless you enrich other i haven't said that kg you know my slogan let's go We're getting it right i'm inside the car right now apparently the car's tight yeah but when you're trying to engage it so they actually they move it went on reverse we went on drive. But uh, it's not moving. Let's see what's going on. So I'm here and then in the car. So I find out that there is a leakage in the transmission cooler. See right there? The thing is rusty. See that? And if you look at the, the transmission pan, is rusted too so apparently i'm not sh sure if there is a, a transmission enough transmission uh, flow in this uh, pan so that means we the vehicle will not engage in the gear so the transmission pan is rusted i was trying to lose this guy apparently you can't lose that it's been rusted so I will order for a transmission uh, cooling line. I have to replace that two cooling line there. And the transmission pan, this pan is rusted as well. And uh, go ahead. Let me go ahead and do this. And uh, All right, so I got the whole part that I needed to go ahead and do this job. This is the, like I showed you previously, so I order for this two transmission line from Toyota. I got that the transmission pan. So I show you guys the other one was leaking. Then the transmission fluid. And the filter and the gasket is inside this right here. That's a part number. And this guy right here. There's a part number right there. So there is a, a, a lot of rust on this vehicle. I just want to point out what I need to do. I might not be able to video it while I'm underneath here. But uh, this guy right here, we need to lose this guy because that's where that coolant line is going to be coming. These two are replacing this. Then I'm going to replace this pan as well. So I can't be able to video it. But you can see it uh, rusted. So I'm just gonna be praying to God that everything come out easily. I'm gonna put penetration oil on it to soak it. So I'll bring you guys along as we are working. KG Brava. So you can see the boat for the transmission pan. They were kind of rusted. I was having problem. Like I said, this is not something now one can video see the boat uh, the boat supposed to be 10 but i have to use a nine to open it i see this guy right here too because i needed to change this transmission cooler line the one that i showed earlier on so the thing is rusted so what i what i did was i use a a torch to heat up this guy right here because it was really tight and there's no way I could use a flat. 
so I have to heat it up then I put my 19 in here slot it through here so that was the way I was able to break that loose if I was going to use flat there's no way I would be able to lose this guy because it was just too so now I have to do the same thing as well the one on the top there because I have to take off that top one as well see so I have to cut this guy too. I'm gonna cut this guy here. I have a cutter that I'm using. This is the guy that I'm using. See this guy? I'm gonna cut it here. Then I'm gonna slick that 19 through there, but I'm gonna heat that first too. To be able to do that then I, before I can do all the rest. But we're doing it. So that's the pan right there. I didn't want to take it out completely yet. There's no way I can drain the uh, the transmission flow because the thing was rusted over here too. As you can see, it was rusted. But there's no that transmission flow inside, maybe like a quart, because it was leaking down here, so everything was going out from there. So I'll bring you guys back, KG. So as you can see, I changed the transmission the both transmission line already they were very difficult when i was losing it like i heat it up like i said before previously so i changed those already the only thing i have a problem with now i can't put the new pan because of the both the the 10 both that i took up from there they are about 20 they were rusted so i can't reuse them so i have to get new boats to put in there so when i do that i'll be able to finish the job so i'll go and get the time boat now so to be continued kg yeah kg i'm back here again i have to pause yesterday from working because of all these 10 boats they were all rusted so i couldn't use it back so i went on order for some from toyota and this is what i got I got the 20 boats, see right there. That's for the transmission. This is the, the part number, sure in case you wanna get one. And then this is a gasket and this is a filter. And that's a pan, but the pan was rusted. I'm gonna go ahead now and do that. One thing I would advise also, if you're gonna do transmission, uh, if you're gonna change your transmission here, especially in toyota i would advise you to buy the good one this is almost about 18 dollars for one you know it's better you just buy the good ones because transmission is something that you don't do like changing oil every three thousand four thousand miles or whatnot this is something that sometimes in a lifetime maybe one or, two, or one two times or three times you change it so go for the best one it's going to work out for you well so i haven't said that now i'm gonna go back in the under the car and uh, try to put this thing together all right kg we will be right back so i'm gonna go ahead and take off this boat this boat this boat this boat to change the transmission or filter that's for boat just be mindful. Watch it very well because I'm not. This one look like it too much now. So you just wiggle it out. Supposed to wiggle it out like that. That's it right there. So we pull the new one. And then we'll, I'll clean up this or uh, scrape up this guy. And then uh, we'll put the put the pan in KG. Okay, we'll go around back. So the new filter is in now. Just for both. Looks nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead now put the the transmission pan uh, should be good from there. Sorry about a shaking video. 
if I'm done in the car, sometimes I can't forget to mention when you look at this pan because we're using a new pan, right? So there's a, there's a magnet inside. See right there? It has a four magnet. So we have to take off those magnets and put it inside a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and take off that. So please don't forget that if you change in the pan, you know, because this magnet, they're the one that collect the residue. Anything that, you know, scrape off from the, from the transmission of the magnets, pick it up. So let me pick it up. And let's go and see. So the magnet is inside the new one, eh? from the old one to the new one. So we're going to go ahead now and put the transmission. All right, so the transmission pan is there now. So you can see here, we're both. It has a 20 both. Looking nice, looking good. So we're going to leave here our entire this place here. Go by the time I put the transmission flow, make sure that. It should take like about five quarters, I believe. All right, so that was a, uh, the transmission line that I replaced it. I replaced that also with the transmission cooling line. That was where all these problems started because it was rusted. So we're gonna come right here down, right here, right here. Take off that so we can put the transmission flow on the passenger side. All right, KG. So this is the guy I'm gonna be using to put the transmission flow. Since I, I don't do transmission all the time like that. So I just go with this cheap one I buy from Amazon. I think it's like about $8. So it's very easy. Just lock it down and then you go right on down in there and just pump it until the whole thing is over. So the transmission on both is a uh, 24. So bring it around and need there. Let's we put this on transmission for. All right, so yeah, yeah, so where we going right here? See right there? You see by 24 both. I use a socket to break it loose. So we're gonna go ahead now. It's just unfortunate I can't hold the camera with my one hand and put it in the floor where I'll bring it back. So I just started the car. So according to the, the manual, the transmission tape about 4.3 liter. So I put it ready. Start the car just making sure that we do this. We will let it idle for a while. And uh, so once it started just make sure you circle it to the gear you know make sure you circle it to the gear everything So KG, this is all that we can show on this video. <laughs> well, I hope you like the video, so please comment questions. Give the video a thumbs up. I wish I can show more. I work by myself, so it's hard videoing the same time, you know, showing the, holding the camera with your hand and working the same time. But uh, question, comment, please support your boy. That's all I'm asking. I will see you on the next time on my video thanks for watching kg love your peace brooklyn we are gone